hi guys now i've got this question quite a lot of times and and i think this is way overdue and i'm sorry for a lot of you who have been waiting for something like this so basically let's recap and talk about my hair story for a very very long time i wasn't allowed to relax my hair um so i grew up really wanting to and I suppose what made it worse, I don't think it would have been as bad. I got it a lot in school where a lot of the other girls had relaxed hair and a lot of the boys and the girls would pick on me and like talk about my hair and like I had a huge afro like if I wore it out but otherwise I would wear it in cornrows but I would have like a huge afro and people would talk about it and just say my hair's nappy and that I should relax my hair and that it's ugly and all of this stuff and I was really proud of my hair because you know I'd been growing it for so long and it was just it was nice it was long it was healthy um so when it was my prom I mean I don't think this was as a result of peer pressure this was just because I wanted a nice prom hairstyle so I wanted you know like um, a half updo with like a little tiara and some curls and you know makeup and a dress and you know just the average prom look so I went to my hairdresser and she was she was my friend as well she was like okay if you don't want to relax your hair we um we can always texturize it because your hair is really really thick and I knew this from from growing up anyway like my dad's side has a really thick hair texture and so even when I would try and straighten my hair it would straighten for a few seconds and then it would be back to its natural state so I was like okay cool so she texturized it it was fine and I wore my hair to prom and it was lovely and so for a long time I had texturized hair up until last late last year when I decided to relax my hair just because my hair was getting thicker and thicker and thicker just because I was, I was taking more care um better care of it every time I tried to texturize it it was almost impossible because it just wouldn't take the texturizer so I started relaxing it but every time I relax my hair my hairdresser also puts in a treatment so there's a treatment in there and um, a relaxer and that's how my hair is the way it is so that's what's been going on with me and I just want to address the whole issue what I realized a lot of the time was that I would go on social media and stuff and a lot of girls who are natural they are very passionate about being natural but sometimes they enforce their opinions onto people who are not natural and a lot of girls will be like you know relaxing your hair is self-hate blah blah blah, blah and I can see where they're coming from but I firmly disagree now obviously after we've had a lot of education from you know history and research and then obviously like the big one was the good hair movie by Chris Rock yes relax it is damaging to your hair however there are people who have extremely healthy hair and long hair who are also have relaxed hair people like you love Megs on YouTube if you haven't seen her check her out her hair is ridiculously long and ridiculously healthy as well it's a form of self-expression how you wear your hair is a, is a form of you expressing who you are as a person creatively Rachel Zoe always said you know I like the way I can present myself and the way I can wear clothes because I I can speak without even have, having to open my mouth and that's exactly how I feel about hair as well I mean in my opinion girls just shouldn't tell other girls what to do with their hair it's it's all contributing to create drama negativity and it's going to separate us as black women when really we should be sticking together because it's already a hard world out there being black and then being a woman putting that together i mean we're strong enough as individuals just imagine what we, we could do together if we weren't arguing about all this petty stuff but of course at the same time we all know that hair is extremely political you, you see it in the news and social media a lot and one person um who really demonstrated how political natural hair on black girls is in schooling and jobs is is Vanessa Van Dyke and she's a girl who if you don't remember had like lovely big afro with a little flower and it. it was really cute and her school wanted her to I don't know how they suggested she would get rid of her hair but they wanted her to like either put in cornrows or whatever they just wanted her to not wear her afro the way it was naturally and I remember reading an article and they're them saying that oh she feels it's part of her identity so she's not going to remove it it's not even that it's not even a part of her identity thing it's coming from her head like if white girls can go to school and wear their, their hair on their head as it is in the morning there's no reason why black girls shouldn't do it too it shouldn't be an issue and i know that the american army has banned cornrows dreadlocks twists in fact i have the article here so the army this is um on a um, article called dallasnews.com if anyone wants to go on it the army earlier this week issued a new appearance standards which included bands on most twists dreadlocks and large cornrows all styles used predominantly 
predominantly by african-american women now um that in itself just shows just how ridiculous how prejudice it's getting unfortunately though as social media is proving to all of us a lot of black men think that natural hair is ugly and i find it really ironic because after three weeks post barber they don't want to let their hair grow because it's going to get what nappy and it's the one thing that a lot of them don't find fashionable they don't find it cute and so a lot of them shave it off now i'm not saying this is all black men but this is it's it, and a lot of black men need to realize that they are blinded by white supremacy i mean in my opinion just like i don't tell my brother how he should wear his hair or how men should wear their hair i don't know why boys suddenly think that our hair is their business it's just not your business you shouldn't dictate to us what we should do with our hair it's so petty and the thing is while they're bashing natural girls the fact that they're not bashing hair, girls with relaxed hair, that's going to create some serious, like, resentment. And in all that, you're just creating division within the camp. The sad thing is, their views coincide with a lot of white people's views. And it's just sad that you guys don't even have our back. If anyone was supposed to have our back, it should be black men. Like, we all saw the issue with Juliana Rancic and um, Zendaya, when, of course, she wore her... If you don't know, I don't know where you've been living. They were talking about it on Fashion Police and Juliana Rancic just cussed her, said that she smelled like patchouli oil, which I don't think anyone knows what that is. Wendy Williams doesn't know what it is. Nobody, nobody knows. But um, weed, she said that um, Zendaya looked like she smelled like weed, which obviously goes back to the fact that she's wearing dreads. And it's just the most ignorant comment to make for ages. And then when Kendall Jenner, I think it's Kendall, Kylie, Kendall Kylie, when she had her dreads, they were edgy and hot now the last issue that i want to discuss let me tell let, let me tell you clearly clearly there is nothing wrong with weave nothing wrong with weave okay so anyone who gets on my instagram gets on my youtube it's just like why do you never have your hair out da -da -da, boo I had, I had my hair natural for 16 years. I have nothing to be ashamed of. And in quite a few of my videos, you'll see me like, if I can't be bothered, sometimes I don't wear makeup in a video. And sometimes I have my natural hair in a bun. Like, I, I'm not one of those uptight, like if you don't know me, then now you know me, innit? I'm not one of those uptight girls who always has to have her hair in. Like, I'm proud of my hair. On Instagram, there's quite a few pictures of me with no makeup and no extensions. So, pause. A lot of girls who are natural seem to think that girls who wear weave are trying to be white or girls who wear weave are self-hating. Okay, let's put that to the side and let's talk about braids because a lot of girls who say that, you know, if they're ever going to have a protective style and it, it's not a weave, they're going to have braids. But the thing is, I've, I've been doing research. Braids is not... I repeat, not solely African. A lot of people think that when they have braids, they're appreciating their black culture. And if they were to have a weave, they would not be appreciating their black culture. But that is all lies because braids are not solely African at all. In fact, the first time braids were seen a 30,000 years ago, 30,000 BC, and it was found on a woman called, in fact, let me read the article for you. The oldest known, repro pre, uh, the oldest known reproduction of hair braiding goes back to about 30,000 years and it's called the Venus of Willendorf now known in academia as the woman of Willendorf and it's a female figurine of a woman estimated to be made about 28,000 and 25,000 BCE which wasn't found in Africa but actually Austria yes Austria as in like the sound of music as in Ge like near Germany basically in Europe with white people and after that braiding hair has also been seen broadly around the world, largely in France, Spain and Italy, and they've been braiding their hair since at least the 1800s or even before that. So, um, don't know what you guys are on about. Weave and extensions are a way to express yourself. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. However, there is something wrong with always having your hair in weave and always being ashamed of what's under it. Now, that's a completely different issue. And I'm not c coming for girls who do that. But I would say that when you take off the extensions and you know when you're in between weave and you still have to wait for your hairdresser like to be ready the next day and you've got your hair out and when no one's there, you have to appreciate that because at the end of the day, that's what you're really made of and that and being afraid of what you're really made of 
is a form of self-hate that is in its general genuine form is is a form of self-hatred or self dislike i don't like the word hate it's so harsh but i feel like that that thing is worthy of beauty and worthy of of attention even if it's just from you and it's worthy of a, of confidence and esteem but being ashamed of it now that's self-hate and that's something we need to move away from because we are confident black women and there's nothing wrong with us at all so you need to look into yourself and realize where these feelings of, of of anxiety about your hair being seen are coming from and then deal with it and realize that you're perfect the way you are now me yeah i'm tired of these black men suddenly realize in 2000 12 2013 the natural hair is now hot so when your mum was taking out her braids when your sister didn't have weave didn't you think they were beautiful then so it has to take a large natural hair movement for you to now realize that we're beautiful now suddenly start posting pictures of nubian queens only saying now that you go for girls with natural hair so before that, didn't you think didn't you think your mum was pretty when she didn't have extensions in? Get out of here, man. And the funny thing is, yeah, you may think that Jesus wiped away all your natural hair slandering ways back in 2007. But it's okay, he probably did though. But I'm gonna tell you what, I forgive, I don't forget, boo. I remember how you used to bash natural girls and go for girls like Laquisha with lighter skin and a wavier hair texture. I remember that. Mm -hmm. So you keep on posting about how now you only go for girls with natural hair. Get off my eight week Instagram posts then. These boys, they literally don't know what they want. In 2008, you want me to look like Megan Good. Now in 2015, you want me to look like Solange. You black boys are so bossy, man. Not all of you, but some of you, you're always talking. Always have something to say. White boys never talk about white girls hair like this. I mean, if, if, if natural hair is so nice, how come, how come after three weeks you want to go back to the barber again, huh? If natural hair is so nice, why don't you guys still have cane brows? Like Amarian did. All in all, the moral of the stories are boys should shut up, stop being so bossy, you have no say. Girls, let's, let's stop this. Girls, we just need to stop telling each other what to do with our hair or what to do with our looks. Just stop. And it's not the little things about us being black and women that we should use to now pull each other down. Stop being enemies of progress for each other. There's never been such a more prominent time for black women as now like i love beauty and everything but compared to politics and and you know growing a business and and doing what you love beauty is so petty so why are we doing it to bring each other down <sighs> that video took some strength jesus thank you guys for watching if you did press thumbs up press that subscribe button baby there will be another video on thursday at 10 videos are back thursdays and tuesdays whoop whoop Whoop. there will be a video on my hair clippings i love i love how i'm like talking about clippings after this if you enjoyed it comment below what are your opinions what do you think about this video i mean do a lot of you support this idea that we have to stick together i hope that you do and um yeah debate what your points are in the comment section and um yeah come back on thursday Whew. oh and check out my blog i also have new posts and um follow the blog too i think you can put on your email address and you can get updates from me but yeah hope to see you guys soon bye